Today I am going to be uh, talking about essential Python for data science. Uh, so Python is a very broad language and it has been used in many fields including uh, data science, networking, cloud and uh, multiple other things. But this particular session will be specifically on uh, uh, a, a, a slightly narrower area of uh, Python and it's Python for data science and even in this particular area I don't cover all the aspects of uh, Python I just cover those that are essential and which you will uh, be using very often and uh, it is my uh, opinion that once you get familiar with some of these basic Python constructs you will uh, you can uh, Google and uh, look up Stack Overflow or other more uh, complex uh, constructs uh, continue learning so let's get started uh, the first thing you want to do is to go to uh, anaconda and uh, probably install anaconda uh, from this site uh, https www.anaconda.com slash download and you can go and uh, probably install python 3.6 version for windows or uh, you can also do Python 2.2.7 but I think maybe you can start off with uh, 3.6 and uh, once you have installed this uh, there are other uh, versions for Linux etc once you have installed this uh, then uh, I have you, you can go to my uh, github page uh, which is https uh, github.com slash tvganesh essential python for data science and then you can uh, download this uh, first python notebook dot i uh, pi y n b which is a Jupyter notebook so you can click this clone or download and you should be able to download a zip file which you can um, then uh, unzip into some uh, of your own uh, folder once you have done this uh, you can get start let's get started on this and the way we do this is uh, this is actually a Jupyter notebook so what I'm going to do is so you can click the start button and you can click a Jupyter notebook uh, so it will open a, a, a Jupyter notebook here then you can go and click upload and you can go to the directory where you have actually uh, extracted uh, this uh, first Python notebook from my github which you downloaded from my github and uh, click open here and then you click upload okay so actually I already have it so I'm just going to overwrite it and uh, so I have uh, this uh, first Python notebook. Uh, so here, this first, uh, this Python notebook basically, if you look at this Jupyter notebook, it has uh, 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 several gray cells and certain white. Uh, what I what you see is these white cells. These gray cells are code code Python code, actually uh, Python code, and these white are actually markdowns. Actually, this is also a cell, but it's a markdown. So you can use markdown language. Uh, which uh, which you can write basic text. Uh, Jupyter notebooks are a good way of writing uh, Python code and then uh, sharing this uh, Python uh, uh, code analysis which you do for any data site set and then you can share it with uh, any of your uh, colleagues etc. So let's get started and as I said this is just going to be the most fundamental, fundamental and the most uh, basic of uh, 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 most important uh, of uh, Python uh, commands. So, a uh, couple of uh, things is you probably want to um, change directory. So, if you want to uh, change directory, you can uh, just give this uh, directory. Let's say c slash software. Uh, 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 what uh, c slash software? So, uh, uh, everything I have commented out all the code so that I can show it to you one by one. Uh, so, I will uncomment it out whenever I need and. To change directory, you'll have to import a module known as OS. So I call this import OS, and to execute it, I uh, click this button here, like a play button. So it'll execute it. So now it has executed this particular thing, and it has gone to this particular folder. To check which folder you are in when you're working in, you can do OS dot get CWD. So it says in C dot software, and if I want, I can list all the files in a particular directory. I can just click OS list there, so it it shows that it has these uh, specific uh, uh, files so these are the basic um, commands uh, uh, I have uh, in uh, this particular notebook okay so 
and uh, you can always uh, save this uh, particular uh, 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 as you write the notebook if you write a command you can save it using this and if you want to add a new uh, cell below this particular cell you can click uh, this uh, thing here and it'll create a new cell so i can again if i wanted to just uh, type uh, os get cwd i can just write a, a new uh, python command and uh, execute it using this uh, there's another way to execute it i can also press control and enter that also will execute it and if i'm not interested in the cell i can go and delete this particular cell and let's say i want to save and checkpoint this particular version okay now there are a uh, couple of basic uh, data types in python uh, you have the integer float and then you have the string and i want to focus on three important and uh, most fundamental of uh, data types they are the tuples list and dictionary a tuple is basically a collection of uh, elements which could be integer uh, float or uh, string and um, they are separated by commas and they are enclosed in parentheses so i uh, initialize uh, a tuple called my tuple with the values 1376 and test you can see it has mixed uh, values and uh, i can print this va value after i assigned it by just grabbing the print command so it will print this at the bottom of the uh, cell uh, then the second uh, basic uh, uh, data type is the list again i create a list and here list typically start uh, and end with the square brackets and in fact lists are used uh, more frequently than uh, tuples uh, the reason being that tuples are immutable whereas lists you can add append and delete uh, from the list uh, as you wish uh, so i uh, created a, a list and i printed the list here and the third one I would like to talk about is the dictionary. Dictionary is like a name value pair. So you have uh, here a name and uh, the value you, for, uh, you write it after the colon. So you have a name and uh, uh, the value is Ganesh and then you have another name age and the value is 54, occupation engineer, etc. So I can also print by just typing the uh, uh, variable in, in a separate line. So it will uh, print it. Alternately, I can also use the print uh, both uh, will work uh, print is an explicit print but uh, you just write the variable uh, on, a, on a line it will print it if it's the last line in the cell if it is not the last line it will not print it okay now if i want to find the value for some particular uh, name variable let's say i want to find the age i call the uh, uh, data type my dictionary and i pass it age and uh, it will uh, print just the value of age so it is 54 okay and so i can get the length of each of these uh, data types whether it's a tuple or a list or uh, a dictionary by using uh, len the len function which is another important function typically uh, when you're working on data sets you would want to know the length so you have the length of the tuple is 5 the length of the list is 5 and the length of the dictionary also is is 5 okay so that is uh, something to be noted off and uh, now let us access elements of the tuple to access uh, the element of a tuple you give uh, a square uh, bracket and you give uh, the index so indices uh, start with zero this is just like your c or java or uh, c plus plus the indices start from zero to n minus one for a, a list of uh, for a length of n okay so uh, my tuple zero will give the first element so i i, I click the run and uh, it is uh, one uh, or i can uh, look at a slice in the tuple that is i look from uh, uh, the index two which is basically the third element because it's zero one two and up to the fourth so zero one uh, from the two three and uh, 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 two and three so you'll see it it, it, it showed me uh, zero one two uh, is seven and up to the fourth so it'll show two and three seven and six okay similarly for the uh, list as i said a uh, list are you can add uh, append uh, to the list so you can uh, add another uh, value to the end of the list you can use the append command for that and if you print uh, the value after this appending you'll see that it has uh, two twenties and um, if 
if i want to to get uh, the uh, 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 not the second element the third element which has an index 2 minus 2 it is 0 1 2 that is the uh, third element i can get the all elements from the index 3 up to the 6 so it will give me from 0 1 2 uh, 3 up to uh, the 6 uh, so here i will find that is 0 1 2 and 3 that is uh, the fourth element fifth and sixth so it will give me up to the uh, sixth element then i i can also uh, display the elements of a list starting from the back so my list uh, minus 2 will give me the second last element uh, starting from the uh, last so it it if i look at this it will give me a 20 uh, 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 the second last element or i can print all elements starting from uh, the minus fifth up to the minus uh, second so you can also display the contents of the list starting from the end uh, and now uh, for the dictionaries you can uh, display all the items that is uh, the uh, the names in the dictionary so you have uh, all the so all the elements of the dictionary which is a name uh, ganesh uh, age 54 occupation uh, engineer or you can display the keys so the keys will be just uh, uh, name age and occupation so you can also display my dig, uh, dig dot values so it will display all the values so now let us look at uh, a, a couple of uh, important uh, other items uh, so if you want help on any particular uh, topic in uh, uh, python you can always use the help command so you can use the help and then whatever command you're interested in let's say i want to know what is uh, uh, len so i just say help len it will give me the uh, okay it's still doing something okay it's uh, it's when it's when it's executing a particular cell you will get this uh, star sign okay so now it has shown uh, the help on the the help of the length function alternatively i could also use the function which i am interested in and type a question mark uh, at the end of the function which will give me uh, <coughs> also the help on that so i can also get help on far more a uh, uh, little bit more uh, involved kind of uh, functions let's say i am trying to use uh, pandas and i'm trying to uh, i need information on the uh, pandas uh, pd.concatenate so i can just type it here so i will get the details of uh, that or uh, a, a pd.merge again i can uh, type this and i will get the details on uh, this particular uh, 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 a particular uh, function okay so we will remove this for now because uh, we have seen it okay now a very important uh, command that you will also uh, use pretty often is uh, to you will want to know what is the type of a particular variable because uh, you cannot do certain operation on certain class of uh, variables you want to know what is the type so this is another important command that you want to remember let us assume I create a, a floating point number a 5.4, and if I want to know what is the type, I just type uh, type and the variable name. Now let's type this. So it says of uh, class float. Then I let us say I, I create a string a string. To know the type of the string, I just type uh, print uh, type b. Uh, so that it says a type string. Now let us say we create a tuple. Uh, let us uh, uh, find the type of uh, that variable my tuple it's a, a tuple i then i get the type for my list so it's a list and then uh, if you notice uh, now that i uh, since i didn't use an explicit uh, print uh, it doesn't display the type of my tuple just displays what is uh, in the last so now if i Uh, uncomment this my dictionary if i say type my dictionary it only uh, print out the type of my dictionary and it will not print the type for these two so if i needed to print these two i'll have to use an explicit print so now it says this is a dictionary okay now 
I want to touch upon uh, a, a couple uh, a couple of important uh, modules or packages in Python, which is very uh, you, which is used very often. And the, one, the first one is NumPy. Uh, NumPy is uh, actually a, a package uh, for scientific computing in Python, and it allows you to, it creates arrays. You can create matrices. You can do uh, multi uh, um, complex manipulations on matrices, like for example, getting the inverse of matrix matrix multiplication. You can do things like linear algebra and uh, other uh, uh, interesting uh, and important stuff which you would need in your machine learning or deep learning uh, kind of uh, deep learning. Uh, uh, if you're trying to implement some deep learning algorithm or machine learning algorithm, you typically t tend to use uh, NumPy a lot. So NumPy, let's create a list called uh, called Data One. And then we can create a NumPy array by just passing this list into this uh, uh, list into this NumPy array, and we call this NumPy array by np dot array, and we pass this data one. And if you check uh, array one after you have done that, you find that it is a NumPy array. Okay, so that's how you do that. Uh, in fact, you could do this whole thing in a single line. That is, you you create a list uh, within a square bracket, and then you call np array. And you can create this uh, a NumPy array. Okay, now let's create a two-dimensional array. So here we create a two-dimensional list. So you have a list within a list. So you have an outer list, and within that you have two lists. And uh, so basically, it's a, an array of array or a, a 2D array. Uh, I, and then I call the NP array on that uh, two-dimensional array, and uh, I say that it is a two-dimensional array. It has two rows and four columns. Okay, now if I check the dimensions of this array, array dot two dot endem, then it is uh, of dimension two. Basically, it's saying it's of two rows, and or I could use uh, array dot shape. Array dot shape will give the exact the number of rows and columns. So it says it has two rows, and it has four columns, which we saw. And uh, a, a very common you uh, uh, function you would use uh, in uh, NumPy arrays is to create a, an entire matrix of zero. So here I'm creating a matrix. Of zeros, basically it has three columns and four. Uh, sorry, it has three rows and four, uh, six columns. So I create a matrix of three rows and six columns of all zeros. Or I can create a matrix of all ones. So here I'm trying to create a matrix with four rows and two columns and all ones. So it will create four rows and two columns of all ones. But I can also create a matrix with a specific type of type integer 32. So I create a matrix, uh, an array, uh, a 1D array. Uh, it has uh, three columns, one row, and it, all of that is of type uh, integer 32. Okay, so this is. Uh, now let's look at some uh, common operations on uh, NumPy arrays. Uh, you can find the mean of the entire array. So in uh, Python or in R, uh, typically we don't uh, try to we we avoid using for loops. For loops are uh, disastrous in uh, Python and R because they are very performance uh, intensive. Whereas in uh, uh, Python and R, uh, you can uh, operate on the entire array or entire matrix or an entire list in, in a single shot. And uh, for example, you let's say you create a, a NumPy array. Let's say I use this uh, function called np random dot rand n uh, ten dot n. Basically, this is going to create a ten by ten uh, matrix with 10 rows, 10 columns, and the numbers are from uh, a normal distribution. And I try to find the mean of this uh, array of this matrix. So it is uh, 0.5. Okay. Now uh, I can also find the va var uh, where the, the variance of this uh, array it is 1.04. So what I'm trying to basically say here is that if you had done this in a C or C++ or a Java, you would have written a for loop. Uh, with uh, starting from i to uh, 10 and then you'd, within that you would have another for loop saying from j equal to 1 to 10 and then for each element you would probably be doing some operation and adding it all up and uh, taking the mean but here you just call uh, make a single function call and get the mean of the whole matrix okay so that that is essentially what it is so here the, i'm just creating a matrix basically it's just a, a two by a two matrix. Uh, I, we have already seen this, so it's just a two by two uh, matrix which are created. 
Now let's see how we have seen how to subset a list uh, tuples and uh, dictionaries. Now let's see how to uh, slice arrays. So let us say we have an array uh, uh, which is uh, basically a, a two by three array, two rows and three columns. So if I see this array, oops. Okay, I have created a 2 by 3 array, uh, 2 rows and 3 columns. Now I can uh, perform uh, element wise operations without any uh, for loop. So I can just do array plus array, it will do a, uh, uh, do a uh, what do you say, um, in a single line I can do this. Okay, so I, let's type array plus array and then I click, click array 1. So it will just add element wise, add it up. So it is added up. Now let us do an element wise uh, subtraction. So it has subtracted element wise and I can do an element wise uh, multiplication also. So what I'm trying to show here is that it's a single line whether you're trying to find a mean or variance or standard deviation or if you're doing, uh, trying to add two different uh, matrices or uh, multiply element wise multiply, you can just do it in a single line. Uh, let's say you wanted to create an array from 0 to 10. You can use this function npa range 10. So it'll start from 0 all the way up to 10. And uh, let's see how to subs uh, subset this. Okay, so if you wanted to find uh, find the fifth element in this, that is, it starts from index 0. So it is essentially the sixth element. So if I do this, I will get 5. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, sixth element. So it is the index 5 since it starts from 0. So again, if I try to uh, slice from uh, 5 to 8, it will start to index from uh, the index 5 up till the 8th element. So uh, it is basically uh, from the uh, uh, from the f uh, from the 6th up to the 8th element. So It'll go uh, from, from since it starts at zero. You you go from uh, uh, one, two, three, four. This will be six, seven, and eight. So five, six, and seven. Uh, I can set all elements uh, in a particular uh, from uh, some particular um, range to a specific value. So again, in a single operation, you can do this. You don't need to do it uh, in one by one. And so you'll find that. Uh, 5, 6, and 7 have been uh, all set to uh, 12. I can also apply uh, an entire function square root on all the elements of this array here. So it has done this. And in a single call, I can uh, call a signed function on all the elements of the array. OK, here are two uh, more, uh, also important uh, uh, Python commands you need. When you uh, call NPA range, basically what it's saying is you want to create a sequence of numbers starting from the value uh, 2 up to 12 and then increment it with an interval of four, uh, 3. So if I run this command, I, I get starting from 2 to 5, uh, 2 to 12 uh, with an interval of 2. Alternatively, you may want to uh, create a sequence where you have your starting uh, uh, number, you have ending number and you want uh, n different uh, numbers uh, equally spaced uh, uh, numbers within that interval then you would use the linear space so here if i use linear sp n and then space then it will start from 2 end at 12 and it will create five uh, numbers within this particular range so it is exactly five numbers here there are different ways to create uh, random numbers in python uh, one way is to use this uh, npRandom uh, dot rand, and uh, so it'll create a, a two by four uh, a matrix of random numbers, and the rand basically creates numbers from the uniform distribution, so it'll be numbers between zero and one. Okay, and uh, you're saying you want it to be of the shape two by four, so it is uh, two rows and four columns, and the values are between zero and one. Or I can create numbers from the random distribution again of the shape 2 by 4 
uh, normal distribution so it will create so it will be a, a values between uh, on the uh, positive or negative side with a, a mean of zero or I can create a random integers to, uh, if you wanted to check uh, if you wanted to know what exactly it does as we saw before we can, I can just use a question mark at the end of it and get the details so it says random uh, you start from low up to high and whatever size you want it and uh, it gives the details of the function so just in case you're not uh, familiar with what it does and you would want to like to look it up you can look, look that up so now let us just to try to create a random uh, set of integers starting from 3 uh, up to let's say uh, 18 and of size 6 and let us shape, reshape it as 2 by 3. So it, it has created a random integer between 3 and 18, high is 18, total of 6 and shaped as uh, 2 by 3 matrix. Then I uh, typically if you want to reshape arrays, you can reshape it using, uh, let's say I have an uh, array, uh, a, a 2D array uh, here. Uh, basically it is, has uh, three rows and uh, uh, it has three rows and three columns. Uh, let's type this out. It has three rows and three columns, three by three uh, matrix. Uh, Okay, here what I'm doing is I'm creating a, 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 a range of numbers from uh, 0 to 20 and then I am reshaping it as a 5 by 4 matrix. Okay, so I'm just creating a number again and if you notice you can just keep calling this uh, functions uh, in a chain. Okay, so I just initially create a, a range of numbers from 0 to 20 and then I reshape it as a 5, five by 4 uh, matrix. So it creates it as a five rows and four column a matrix, or I could have again taken the same uh, 2D uh, matrix and reshaped as a uh, two row and uh, 10 column matrix. Let us see how that looks. So you have uh, the ability to manipulate uh, the matrix in any, any specific way you want. Now let us try and subset, uh, subset arrays. We've already seen how to subset uh, Arrays. So let, if you see the array 2D, as I said, you can also use the control enter to execute this. Now I want to find the element 1, 2, okay, uh, with the index 1 and uh, index 1, 2. If I do this, it is, uh, okay. Okay, in the index 1, 2, it is a 12. Okay, hold on, let me just print this. I will explicitly print this array 2D. Okay, now let us uh, try and execute this. 1, 2, so it is index 1, it is in this uh, second row, 0, 1 and uh, index a uh, column index is 2 which means it is 0 1 2 which is 12 okay now let us try and uh, look at this particular construct which i would suggest you uh, focus on basically uh, it is picking a slice of a row and a slice of a column and the way you slice it slice an array is you give an array and then the start row colon end row comma start column colon end, col uh, end column. So here I am actually slicing from the second row up to the fourth row and then from the first column up to the fourth column and also re remember that the index starts from zero. Okay. So let us look at what this uh, does. Um, Now let's create an uh, array 2D, uh, another uh, 2D array. Let's create it uh, as we did before. NP a range uh, 20, and then we will uh, reshape it as a 5 by 4 uh, matrix. And then we will take from the 
second uh, uh, row index 2 up to 4 and from row index 1 up to uh, 4 uh, of this uh, matrix okay so here we see that we have got uh, this particular uh, matrix uh, so here I am slicing from the second uh, row index so it is uh, 0 1 2 and a column index starts from 1 so 0 1 so it starts from 1 and then it goes to uh, uh, 2 3 4 similarly uh, in the column index it is uh, uh, 1 2 3 okay so that's how we, we see this so here this 2 3 uh, not so 2 3 4 2 3 and column index is goes from 1 up to 4 so 1 up uh, 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 1 2 and 3 so it goes through this so this is you can look this up alternatively if I didn't have this uh, start row end row I can just give a colon which means show me all rows but for the column uh, no, if I have colon 3 for the uh, uh, this, uh, the row the row indices then what it means is start from the 0th row up to the third uh, third row and show me column uh, 2 with column with index 2 uh, the other way to do if I if I have don't have any uh, anything for the uh, row index. If you just have a colon, then it means show me all rows of this uh, 2D matrix. So it shows all rows, but the column indices start from 1 to 3. And lastly, let us assume I have a colon for both for the row indices and, and column index, then it will show me all rows and all columns. So that's what that means. So I would suggest that you uh, memorize this particular uh, formation uh, 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 and you will be using it pretty often so this is again we, we have seen this uh, but I will just quickly go through this again that once you have created uh, uh, an array or a matrix you can find the mean and uh, the sum uh, in a very straightforward uh, sing, uh, single line way okay so you can do it in, in a single line way so uh, let us uh, quickly go over what we did again uh, so in, we started with uh, the basic uh, data types uh, so first we started with some of the basic OS commands and uh, I just showed a few and for that you have to import the OS module and you can use the change directory to change uh, directories within your computer to get the current working directory use the, the get CWD get current working directory or you can list all the files of a directory then three basic types tuples list and dictionary tuples are enclosed within uh, parentheses are separated by commas can be of any type lists are separated by enclosed within square brackets separated by commas and while tuples are immutable you can add elements uh, and delete elements from a list and the last is a dictionary which are of a name value pair and uh, you have name colon and the value and you can print the get the length of all these uh, basic types use the len function and if you want to subset uh, uh, the tuple or list remember that the, it, the index always starts uh, from zero so you have to remember it's like cc plus plus java and you can also select slices of uh, tuples list or dictionaries and you can give by using the colon sign so for example, 3 colon 6 basically will start with the, uh, the index 3, which means the fourth element, up to the sixth element. Okay, And to get help on any particular uh, topic or function in, in uh, Python, you can just type help and the function name or the function name and, the, and, and, a, and a question mark. Okay, And a very frequently used uh, function in Python is the type. You will always want to know what is the type of a specific object you have. So you just use type and uh, the object, for example, type my tuple will give you a, a tuple, type uh, my list will give you a list, and type uh, my dict will give you a dictionary. NumPy is a very fundamental package, a scientific package, where you can manipulate matrices, uh, arrays, and um, uh, also you can do a lot of linear algebra stuff. Uh, so here uh, you just pass a list. Uh, to uh, np.array and it will create a, a numpy array and uh, you can get the shape of the array using array.2.shape uh, you can create an, a, a, a matrix of zeros uh, np zeros and then within that you give the shape of the matrix you want a 3 by 6 
as a TOEFL or you can give it as MP uh, once and uh, you can apply operations on the entire uh, NumPy array that's the beauty of the NumPy array is you can do it as a, a single operation you don't have to do a for loop and you should avoid using a for loop in Python and NumPy arrays are meant for that and you can uh, do a element wise addition multiplication or uh, subtraction division etc and you can get uh, again subset arrays or a slice arrays by using the colon notation remember that uh, the index starts from zero and you can there are multiple ways of generic sequences suppose you want a sequence of numbers you can give a start and end and then what is the interval in which you want the sequence to increase or you can give a start and end and you can give the number of numbers you want within that particular interval that you use in, in the np lens lens space and there are different ways of generating random numbers typically used in simulation experiments and uh, one is uh, np random dot rand uh, which will generate numbers in the uniform distribution from between 0 and 1 or it could be in a normal distribution sorry this is uh, not between 0 and 1 so normal distribution it will be between i think uh, with a mean of zero it will be on either side so this is a normal distribution and I'm saying it's of shape 2 4 2 by 4 or I can generate uh, a set of random uh, in integers so I say start end and of size 6 and I reshape it as 6 and I can create numpy arrays and I can uh, appropriately shape it just ensure that the shape of the uh, new shape of the matrix is equal to the number of elements you can subset arrays and how you do that is you give a start row, end row and a start column and end, co end, row, uh, end column with a colon in between them. Uh, so remember this, the index starts from 2. If you don't give the start row, then it means from the beginning. If you don't give the end row, it means up to the end. If you don't give anything for the row index, just give a colon, it means all rows. If you don't give anything for the column, just a colon, it means all columns. And you can compute the mean uh, array and uh, sum of entire arrays through a, a, a single uh, column okay single call okay so that's uh, you will continue the, this uh, discussion in the next uh, session